Well, I'm, I'm really interested in how we can learn to stop. How we, through some kind of effort from our side, we learn to settle and mm. stop. And I know from my own experience of meditation and retreats that the mind is something, the heart, whatever you want to call it, we are something that can um, settle and gather and find places of resource and vitality and you know, contentment. Mm. It's possible to do that. We just have to learn what kind of effort is needed. Yes. There's lots of ways to find yeah. out, to experiment. When we do that, it gives us some resilience in the face of anxiety and stress and worry and depression and exhaustion, those mm. kind of things. And I wonder, I'd be interested to look at areas in life which bring up challenging things like stress, like family and work and relationships, life. And just to see what we can do in our own power to support us to be more resilient in those parts of our lives. Mm. You know, we can use meditation and inquiry exercises and some psychology and some theory, but how does all this stuff actually, you know, where does the rubber hit the road? Mm. Where's it going to be useful? Where's this, all this kind of business? <laughs> <laughs> How's that useful? Yeah. It doesn't have to be mystical. Oh, of course it can be profoundly mystical. It can be religious or not. It doesn't matter. But practical experiments to support us to, to have a happier life. Mm. Simple, big, big project really, but you know, Let's, let's have a look and see. Yeah. See what we can do. Mm-hmm.